These are the door panels for the Triumph TR2 and TR3 models. They've been cut in hardboard on our CNC machine. They have all the relevant pilot holes that you would need, etc. Um, they are then foamed with a three mil foam and then trimmed all the way around. These have been trimmed in midnight blue vinyl, as you can see, which is an original color for the Triumphs. Um, they then get a pocket, which is made in millboard uh, and matches the color on the inside there, trimmed up and attached on. The TR2 and TR3 pockets did not have an opening at the top of them. They were fully enclosed, whereas the TR3As had an opening at the top to allow for the door pull element of it. Uh, so they're done to original spec. In terms of the pocket lining, it really depends on what you want and what colour you go for. Uh, originally, they were a flocked material, which we can do to a certain extent colour dependent. Otherwise, we revert to vinyl to match, or we can uh, also get a moquette material, which can offset it quite nicely. See our website for details as prices do change depending on what you go for. But we can offer quite a few options there. So they're very nicely trimmed up, as you can see. As you can see, no bagginess at all in the material there, which shows a good job. Uh, it's worth noting as well that on the TR2 and TR3s, the door panels were not piped, unlike the TR3As where they were piped on this edge here. So that is the left-hand door panel. As you can see, as it sits in the car there, this being the right hand here. It's also worth noting that the TR2 and TR3s had this much more square hole, um, square ovalish hole there, whereas the TR3A switched to a kidney-shaped hole. The very, very early TR2 models had a very elongated oval shape to them. Uh, we have actually got the template for it, um, so we can offer that, but it was used on, I think, the first 100 or so cars, not many at all, so just bear that in mind.